So guys, I've got some tires for the main chopper. This is all I got for the front, it's a 2.5-10 Kinda. And in the back, I got a Sun F uh, 145-70-6. Now what's on this thing right now, on the back there's a turf tire. It's a uh, 6 point, or six by 6.5 by 13. I think it'll be just about the right size. Um, this tire, it's been a trooper, but it gets getting shredded now, and I don't know, I, I wanted something a little, uh, something with a little bit deeper tread, maybe a little bit more rated for the speed that it goes. Now the front tire, it is a, a 3.0-10, so this one's going to be a little bit smaller, but I think it'll suit it. It might uh, affect the speedometer it has. It does have a speedometer mechanism here, but it's it was never very accurate anyway, so. Uh, and this, uh, this tire is super weather checked. This was probably the original tire that was on this bike when it was built, and I don't know when it was built. It doesn't have any kind of date or anything on it, so I'm thinking it's like early 2000s, I, I think. I might be wrong, but so. Yeah, let's uh, take these tires off and struggle with that. Sounds fun. Whoa. That's the cops. Okay, I got them both off. 
actually not too bad. It's a little more stuff than a normal mini bike, but in this one, um, you know, I'm gonna have to take. I think I have to take this brake disc off, and the axle's gonna have to come out just to make it easier on me. But this one, I'm not sure. It's hard to do this one-handed. This the front brakes are always a little. I don't know, a little squishy. What's going on here? Hmm. Oh, they actually look fine. Maybe they're just like glazed or something. Yeah, they're kind of shiny. Uh, maybe I'll take some brake clean to them and maybe a little bit of sandpaper or something, kind of scuff them up. I don't know. I'll just take that off, actually. And this one, I'll take the axle out and let's see if I can get this off. I've had this off before, but it was like a long time ago. Okay, remember it goes nut, adjuster, um, wide spacer, brake bracket, skinny spacer. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, look. the bearing came out on this side. This axle on the back, I actually had a guy make. It's made out of uh, tool steel. Had it made years ago. The original axle got stripped, and uh, he worked in a machine shop, and he made this tool steel axle. Pretty cool. All right, I'm trying to take this uh, brake disc off, I guess. And I think they were originally uh, three millimeter, right? And I, and they're all stripped. So I did manage to get one of them off with a 1 8 uh, Allen key. I got one of them free, but the rest of them are all, they're all just, I don't know, they're, they're stripping. But there's a trick I learned from a mechanic guy. This is a T20, it's a socket, but it could be, could be anything you got. And the trick is you line it up with the Allen. Uh, somewhere here I have a little ratchet. There you go, see? So I'm going to continue to do that and take all the rest of these off. It's cool, the little teeth I don't know if I explained this earlier. Focus. The little teeth in the Torx bit grab onto the corners of the Allen and uh, effectively turn it into a Torx screw. But I don't know, it seems to work. I learned this back in the day working on an old Chevy Love Truck. And Chevy Love Trucks have Allen head bolts, which is stupid. I ended up getting rid of that truck right after that, but I couldn't get the head bolts off. And uh, his buddy came down there and saved the day with uh, a torque, or yeah, a Torx bit. See, now they're all. Oops, all of them are. Oh, it's way down in there now. Right. They're all free now. Kind of, I don't know if you can see what it does to the screw. It grabs all the little corners. It's a little warped. It'll be fine. We need the space shuttle. All right, let's move right on. We're having long. It's a good angle on the camera. Um. On the back one here, I have it tubeless. I 
might be why this Carlisle is not holding air is because it uh, it's not really designed for a tubeless application I don't think what was that that's a bearing I need that Mouse stem. I could take this off too, but it kind of gives me a nice little platform. A couple of flathead sword screwdrivers. There we go. Pop both those beads. And then, we're going to just try to work these off. Watch it. Sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Should never stand too close to somebody when they're doing a tire. All right. Look at that. Rusty. We'll have to go through and take a look at this thing and see. Maybe there's a rust hole in the rim. That's all right. I got a welder. There's our TV on there. Yeah, this thing definitely needs a tire. Usually, some of these you can just pull this back bead off by hand. I don't remember this one fighting me this hard before. Uh, let me try another technique. This thing's kicking my butt. Okay. Where are we at here? I'll get down on the floor here. Maybe I can really get some leverage on it. There! Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. Stick. Stick inside there. Alright. Okay, let's get let's see the other one. It's probably easier. Yeah, I'll just quickly make a video about tires. It's a good idea. Okay, I got the other tire up here, and uh, I'm start by pulling this valve core out of the valve stem. I really like to use, I do have another tube, but it'd be nice if I could use this one. I don't even know. This bead is on there. Hold on. I'm gonna go try something else. Okay, we are out here at my tire machine. Let's see if this thing could give us any help at all. 
Yeah, here, just a little bit of leverage I needed. this thing off. Probably get my butt kicked. Put a little arrow on here to help me keep track of which direction this tire goes on. This tire isn't necessarily bad, it's just super weather checked. You know? This might work for something. I don't know, that's what I might just be in a hoarder. a rust hole that's been welded up it looks okay I think we just need to clean the rust up and paint it maybe a little bit on these rusty spots down a little bit uh, okay so I let the paint dry yeah, I mean it could be nicer but I think it'll be fine okay over here I have this tire right and if you see when I first started uh, the bees were really squeezed together really close so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tube in here and then just stretch it like that. This tube has a hole in it, but I think if I, I don't know, I think it'll help. I don't know. You can hear it leaking. Okay, so I've got, I've got these three tubes. This is the correct size. It's uh, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere it says 2.5. 10 2.75 by 10 yeah right there and this tire has this tube has, has a hole in it and this one is close but I think this is like a I don't know it's a little big and this is the original one I had in there which I don't know that one seemed a little big for a 3.0 so I made the decision to go tubeless I got a couple of valve stems here and I hope they work because this is a 0.453, which is a little bigger than this 
I kind of cleaned the rust up a little bit. This is a 7 16 hole. I hope I can squeeze those through there. So let's do that. Let's get the valve stem squeezed through. And then I'm going to try to put the tire on, which is over here in the tire um, installation station. Yeah. Okay, I got one of these uh, valve stems. And I got the really short one. You know, I think it said like one inch or something like that. Because I don't think there's going to be a lot of room here to get the air chuck in. I think these are going to be okay. What I usually do is I take these things, these are like uh, chicken pliers, I think they're for checking spark, you know, pulling plug wires off. So I take this guy, a little soapy water on there, and then some, this, this seems to work for me. I grab these you know, chicken pliers and then just, oh, ow, just yank it. Oh, so close. Maybe I shouldn't have done the soap. I don't normally do the soap part. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Might not work. Let me let me get this and turn you back on. out the vice grips. Ouch! Is this too big? Is it? It's only like a couple of ten thousandths too big. Oh, yeah, who's the boss? Who's your daddy? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. This thing's directional, which is which turns pointing that way. I think it's something like this. So I just need to like work this on. Let me see if I can get this. I'm not gonna like kick my butt this time. I'm gonna do both these at once because I'm gonna do tubeless. I think this is you're not gonna get me again. Okay, really close. Boom! Oh man, that is not gonna be easy to beat. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna look up Mitchell scooters. Maybe, maybe he can show me how to do this. All right, I got a, uh, I got a ratchet strap. And I think it's about the right size here. Oh. I think this is gonna be the only way. I need this thing to work. Spray some soap in there. This is some more soapy water, just to give it a fighting chance. Now I got uh, the valve core out already. I lost my other valve core tool. Let's find it later. Let's see what happens here. Mm. More precious. Oh, that's an awful one. Centered a little better. Uh, some more. And tons of strap. Okay. Let's try that. Hmm. Hold on. I think I need to charge my air compressor up. Okay, hold on a second. Wait. Okay, the compressor is charged up. <clears throat> I kind of recentered the uh, ratchet strap so it's more centralized. Please work. Oh yeah. Oh no, hold on. Oh, this is the back one. I need the back one. I'm gonna get this off. Okay. That back one's not on yet. Woo! 
Okay. Let's, uh, go in there. <coughs> put the valve core back in. And then put a chuck on there and then set this to a specific PSI. Let's see. It says... Max load, 25... What? Uh, 253 pounds. That's alright. Probably 210. Uh, is there a PSI that it says to put it at? 2.5 bar. Cool. Uh, oh, just 36 PSI. Can I get this one? So, oh, oh I'm, quickly. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it at like 25 because that seems like a lot of pressure. So, you're at 15. And that is 50. <clears throat> okay, so uh, that's too much. Now. Okay, 30. That's 35. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa. Cool. Now, debatably, that was the easy one. Next, we're gonna do the back tire. Whew. Okay. This is. Here's the back tire. Okay, and it goes on like this. So, like this. And like this. It's just a. Uh, just try and see what happens here. I think this one's gonna be the harder one to do. I really do. Uh, maybe I should have sprayed it. Uh, but, you know, we'll get, her, we'll get her done. We got a ratchet strap here. Uh, got, some, got some soapy water. Uh, yep, we're gonna get this out. Go just fine. Just, uh, just fine. Okay, that's, that's one side. I'm definitely gonna spray this side down. Because if that side was that, I can still check the tread. This way, yes. You know, I was looking at that other tire. And it, I don't know if it's because it's been on there a while, but it does seem considerably wider. But also, I don't know. This might not have been the best choice. This is a pretty common 145.70, 16. Huh, oh, we'll just see what happens. I don't think either one of these tires were the perfect choice. But I think they'll do alright. It's gonna go though. It's gonna go. Okay. One more, one more, maybe two. Okay. Alright. Okay, I got this. Woo! Honestly. The core's already out. Let's see what happens here. Of course. Let's ratchet strap it. If you can see me. Can you see what I'm doing? If not, put it down in the comments below. Because, you know, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Alright. So we get past the valve core. That's always the biggest deal, is that. Can you see that? This little... Even on a car. There we go. Ah! That, I think, is working. I can see it moving towards the bead. Hold on. You gonna fall off or... I 
think I got it though. Maybe? Ah, use these here to kind of twist this around. Come on. I got a cut off wheel. I will. I will cut. Use cut off wheel on you. Okay, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I just did that. Joe was boss with the pliers. Sweet. Now I gotta get a valve core. Valve stem. Valve, valve core stem. Stem core. They're both my shoes on time? Just, just one. <clears throat> now this one, this one has a real simple 20, 28 to seat, 7 psi operating pressure, 7, this is like they're making up numbers, I'm gonna go with 10 or something, I can't even see 7 on this thing anyway, so, there, 10 psi, that actually looks pretty good. It's round. The other one was kind of squared off. So it would uh, it was wear on the sides. You can kind of see how it has wear here more. Awesome. I don't think it's seated all the way. Yeah, look at that. See, it's like away from the B there. Let me, I'm going to try to go to like something higher. It says max to seat at 28. So... Okay, that's 38. Yeah, now it's all the way up against the rim. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Let's, let's let some of that out. Where are we? I hope you can see all this. There are my tires, my new, very similar tread. Yeah. Okay, one last uh, thing. You, know, you can see how the brakes, you know, this one's all super shiny. Well, I sanded that one. It looks way better. So I'm going to take this, uh, I think this is like 60 grit or something like that. I'm just going to do like that. And once that's all not shiny anymore, similar to that one, I'll put it all together. Alright, I got the front tire on. The brakes are kind of adjusted. Everything went together pretty nice. It doesn't look too small. I thought there'd be a big gap between the fender. It looks alright. Bracket, fat one, adjuster, and another. Okay, they're both on. This one uh, looks pretty pretty good. It's not. I thought it would look too small, but it fits really nice. The back one's on, and yes, it is a little narrower, but it's rounded, so I think it'll be easier to drive. The height is about right because I used to gauge how far away from there it was. It's about the same height. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, these are cool. I got the tread on the right way. It only took a small bucket of tools, you know. Didn't take that many at all, you know. Just a couple. looks like it looks right you know it looks good okay um, that's it we're gonna wrap this video up here I got these uh, these old tires replaced with some pretty nice stuff the front ones a Kenda 
Back one's a Sun F. I've only heard good things about these tires, so this can go in the garbage. All right, guys. Uh, I know this is a long video. Now, what do you do? It took a long time. So, um, thanks, thanks for watching. First of all, you guys are awesome. I, I'm up over 800 subs right now. Totally cool. You know, I'm on my way. It's happening. But uh, yeah, you guys like and subscribe. And uh, take it easy. Yeah, that's it. That's, it. that's the end of the video. Oh, oh, oh.